we met at church, man. She taught children's church, and of course, I dealt, dealt with security, small talks here and there, and one thing led to another, and this is where we are now. <laughs> we met in church. Just between me and you, I think he was stalking me. But that's how we met, you know, he, he'd come by as I'm doing children's church to, you know, say hi, and we talk, we chat, and from there it grew. So the first date was different. I'm not gonna lie, I fell asleep and I was late. I gave him a call and you know, I didn't stand him up. Then I was on my way. And from there, once I showed up, it was great with our first date, really awesome. Our first date was very interesting. We had a date to go to TGI's. My beautiful fiance as she is, you know, running behind schedule. I thought she stood me up, but she ended up calling me, said, hey, she fell asleep. She ended up showing up and we had great conversation. She's a woman of God, God-fearing. What I love about him, I love his heart. His heart to always want to help out his friends, help out neighbors, help out strangers, and he's a straight shooter. What you see is what you get, and I love it. Ooh, how long do we have? <laughs> okay, he's always posing. No matter where he's at, he's always posing. He doesn't even realize it, but he's always posing. Especially if he has on one of his favorite watches or one of his favorite blazers. Then he's always here. He's there. He's there. But you know, that's my GQ guy, so I love it. She makes bread last. I don't care how big or small it is, she tears it up into a million pieces. Um, and she just nibbles on it till the end of times.